All right. Hello, fourth grade. Welcome back to PE. This is week 26. Last week was week 25, conference week, and you had no school on Thursday, so there's nothing posted for you guys. However, we're going to continue on. Hopefully, you still got your basketball hoop set up. If you do, perfect. If not, go back to my other video and watch how to use make the basketball hoop. It's very simple. It's just a box you throw up there so we can shoot into it. Big box easier, smaller box harder. That's how it goes. So what do you need right now? You need your space. Then we're going to be on the ground. So let's get going. Remember, our activity this week is on Flipgrid. So I made the video on there. It's all set. All you got to do is respond to it. And I know you fourth graders know how to do that because your teachers have taught you numerous times. So I expect to see a lot. And if not, you'll just pay for it from your teachers. <laughs> let's get going. And let's go with some backwards there. Arms are cracking, getting, getting elderly, my friends. Oh, two more, one more, and done. Oh, shake those out, right arm across and hold. Last week was conferences, if you remember. Hopefully, you enjoyed the time off, but also, you got a good report. Nobody wants a bad report on a Zoom call from their teacher because they've been lazy at home, some of us. So we gotta make sure we're being active and doing stuff inside of school, outside of school, doing these videos, going for walks, going for bike rides. It's nice outside, go do something. All right, let's get our neck. One, two, three, four, now side to side. One. All right, shake them out a little bit. Let's get going. We're going to do our tabletop with our midline. So right leg up, left arm comes across. One, two, three, four, five. Bring them down. Switch it up. One, two, three, four, and five. Bring them down. Down to our hips. Six times total. Two, three, four, Five and six, reset down to our knees. Cross your body, reset. Two, reset it. Reset it. Four, five, one more. Six, now down to our toes. One, all the way back up. Two, three, four, five, and six. Shake them out. Let's get our jumps going. 60 jumps, six, zero, six, zero on our toes. If you don't want to count to 60, just jump as long as I do. Little jumps. Bigger jumps will take you longer. Little jumps, faster. Three, two, one, jump. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Feeling good, those calves right there might be burning a little bit, that's the idea. Now let's stretch those calves out, up and down slowly. Remember with the calves, go down. They're gonna help us explode up to jump forward with a sandy forward jump. You can do that as a long jump as well. Quick movements, you're outside playing sports with your friends and you need to cut, or you're playing tag and they're about to get you, you duck down and go to the other side. That's these calf muscles right here helping you with that fast fiber, twitch fiber movements. Type one and type two fibers. Ooh, there we are. Let's get our quads. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, fourth grade. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. On your side. You always feel like when you sneeze, there's always one more coming. My eyes are watering from that, but. I don't feel something else. It'll probably come in just a second. All right, feet together, hands to the ground. So we do go to the ground after this. Remember, our push-ups and sit-ups are gonna be right there. So if your mat's ready to go, just roll onto the ground when you're ready. If not, push pause to get set up. It's only about five minutes down there, our push-ups. Side planks, we have normal planks. We're gonna do our uh, Shoulder taps as well, that's a new one. I like the shoulder tap one. Kind of makes you a little tougher. Arms get a little more tired. Push out. 
And then our normal crunches. So you're ready to go, touch nothing. I have to push pause to move over here, and I'll see you there in three, two, one. All right, on the ground, ready to go. We're gonna go reverse today. So instead of starting with our abs, we're going right into push-ups right away. So 15 push-ups. We're gonna go, remember, belly, chest, chin, face, down at the same time. The booty is high. You know that ain't fly. Everything together. If your knees are on the ground, you are an absolute rock star. If your knees are off the ground, you're an absolute rock star. I don't care if your knees are on the ground, as long as we're getting everything down at the same exact time. Right now, push-ups. 15. 15 for Mr. Briggs. You do 15, or you want to do 10 with your knees on the ground, or follow along. Do what you can. We're doing push-ups now. So, I'm ready to go. Got my knees there. Hands ready. Legs out. 15. Ready? In three, two, one, go. Ooh, 15 feels good. All right, catch your breath for a second because we're gonna go back into push-up position and do something called a shoulder tap. Shoulder tap is you're, you're in push-up position. Everybody is. There's no going down though. You're just push-up. So what does that mean? Push-up position, just like this. And then we touch our opposite hand to our other shoulder. So we're not doing this. I'm taking my right arm going across my chest to touch my left shoulder. So I'm here, my left right arm comes up and touches my left shoulder. Left arm here, comes up, touches my right shoulder. We're gonna do 10 of those, nice and slow. So you touch, come down, one, two, three. So it's kind of like we're crossing our midline in a push-up position. Gonna work the arms, because they might be shaking, because you have to hold up your body with one arm. Also, core workout, just 10. 10, then we're on our sides for our side planks. Just 10. Shoulder taps, let's go. In three, in push up position, two, no knees. No knees, everyone off the ground, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now lay down, get ready. Side planks, left arm or right arm, whatever side you're on. Whatever side you fell over to, let's go with that. So side planks, 25 seconds, breathe. Other side, 25 seconds, breathe. Then we'll do our normal planks. You guys are doing great with this. You guys know the drill. If you're doing all of these every week, abs shouldn't be hurting, arms shouldn't be hurting. You should be feeling great. So let's go in three, two, one, go. Up. Remember, arm can be straight up. You want to make it a little more fun? Try to crunch. Just like that. Or just keep it normal. It's really up to you what you really want to do. Seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your hips down. Slide the feet over. Same rules apply. Hands straight up. Try to do some side crunches. All work just fine. Let's keep going. In three, two, one. Let's go. Push up and hold. Remember, here, that, or the standard, just hold it right there. Ah, feeling good today, guys. It's nice and sunny out. Looks, looks good when I'm outside looking right now. So hopefully it's the same for you guys. In three, two, one. Bring your hips down. Slide them across. Planks. Two hands, or forearms there, no knees on the ground. We start in four seconds. Three, 25 seconds. Two, one, go. Push up and hold. Fifteen seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, Mr. Briggs working us today. I'm sorry, I think, but I'm not. Let's keep going. All right. What now? 
to our crunches. No butterflies today because we tried a new shoulder tap. So now we're just going just to our crunches, 35 crunches. Then we're done. Then we're moving on to some more basketball. Woo! Head forward, back there, knees bent, feet on the ground, arms here, 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 35. Do as many as Mr. Bricks, 35, or as many as you can. Well, I'm doing 35. Your choice. In three, two, one, let's go. Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, right. Whew. That was excellent, guys. So what now? You're done. Get some water. What next? Our activity, remember our activity is going to be on Flipgrid. So don't be looking at it going, well, it's Flipgrid, where's my video on YouTube? It's not on YouTube, it's on Flipgrid. And the link is right there, it's right there. Click the link and remember, if you're a kindergartner, go to the kindergartner link. Older student, go to the older link. Your grade level's there, click the right one. Every grade is different. See you guys over on Flipgrid playing some basketball.